Okay, so this was me playing wires with no perks and no add-ons. This was the first win I got with no perks and no add-ons. Those wires. Um, the idea was to go perkless, uh, just work on my killer fundamentals until I got to rank 10 and then start putting perks and add-ons on. Um, I achieved this this season and next season when rank reset happens if we drop below 10, which we probably will um, I'll be trying it again with a new killer also Myers because you know, it's my name but yeah, this was the first win So we have auto even records with the newly remastered maps, newly updated maps, should I say? Looking a lot clearer, but very green now. Let's go on there. Spot this bill straight away. I don't know if he sees me and just decides to carry on. Definitely sees me now. She doesn't. Not position and then swallows me, so I keep on her. I need to get I tend to get a hit on him as well. Try and wound as many people as I can. And he's running to the basement. I don't know why. He's trying to unlock him, I can see him. Trying to do a duke there where if you time it right you can get out of the locker without being grabbed. And they swing and miss and you get away without getting hit. But obviously he took a hit there. And down he goes. The other girl is healed. Didn't heal us, should I say, but I Really, I should go pick up Dylan now because, yeah, they're rather unbreakable. It's a perk you actually get with the character, so you can assume most bills will be running unbreakable in their kit. You didn't see any scratch marks leading the way anywhere, and there's only dead zones like to the left and right. So I guess she'd be in the locker, and I was right. Let's turn around to get a bit of aggression. Tea bags coming from Bill. Looks like Bill's giving up. I don't know why. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll take it because without any perks or add-ons, we are up against it. So I know they keep coming back to work on that gen. He's on the hook. One's down. And there's a third person nearby, which do, does pick Bill up. So I think he's already used his unbreakable now. She goes in for the rescue. I have tier 3 ready. I'll take the trade. So this is a really good start. I've got one person hooked, two people injured. Someone still is doing gems. Uh, she deliverance off the hook. I can tell because there's a broken symbol. By her character icon. Deliverance is a perk where you can um, have to rescue rescuing someone from the hook. On your first hook, you can unhook yourself. Still aggressing. I don't trust that there's not someone around here though. Just a good look about. Bill has given up. Makes my job a lot easier. Someone dead at three gens. I don't see a thing working on this gen. Little sidestep shooting straight into me. Mm -hmm. 
time was actually really good. I think after that, that one that one mistake there, she st suddenly started playing that really well. Oh. Let's see what she does. Looks like she's going to try and play this part. So I need to break it. It's a safe ballot anyway. Yeah, there's nothing around us, so maybe she has to use this ballot. I'm going to make it over to Shack. She throws a duck so I can't really stalk. Let's have the time to break it. The stalker she makes the Shack. I don't really want to be on this side of the map. You can see on the other side there's four generators close to each other. I can make a three gen out of that. Which is why you try and protect three generators in close proximity. Well you try and you try and have the match so the only gens left are the gens close to each other. Which known as a three gen or four gen strategy. And locks the survivor out because if you constantly patrolling the gens, they're stuck to one area, they can't split map pressure on you. Like what you would normally do is do um, a gen one side of the map and a generator the other side of the map, oh. which you know you can't defend against. But unless you have like really high mobility like the nurse or Billy or someone. So I didn't really have any intention of chasing her, I just wanted to see who was on the rest of the gems, but she makes a mistake there and I see the opportunity for an easy down, so I'll take her. And now they've been working hard on this generator by the hill, so I need to go over and be aggressive before picking them up. The reason I'm doing it like this as well is because it gives me a chance to just look around. And yeah, they're working on this gem as well. And in that time, hopefully someone will come in and try and pick her up and I can wound them. I wound them down then and end up with two people. And the pressure as opposed to one. I see scratch marks out of the back but I can't see her. So I decide to just go and get the hook on this guy. I'm trying to put her in the middle of these three generators in the back here. You know, as, as central as I can. That way I can watch over anyone coming in for the rescue and protect these three gems. The one to my right, the one behind me and the one to the left here. So I'm not too bothered about this gem in the middle here because it's in a strong position. There's those LT walls and jungle gems about. Rescued, so there's at least two people over here. There's a shack, I tried to cut her off. It's the fang. Just get ahead on her through the window. She's playing very smart, she won't see what I commit to before she commits to anything. I was up here, and the mistake she made there was she was looking back at me, pressing the vault button, but as you can see she wasn't quite lined up with the window. Go back and check to see if this injured woman's touched this gem which she has, you can see the blood marks still up the hill. Keep match, find the good trail, down her again. I'm not going to pick her up straight away just in case she has decisive strike. Have a look at that chin in the middle. Which someone has touched. And back to the girl I slugged earlier. Thing. So now we know where the fourth person is. They've picked the other person up the other side of the map. That hill. And straight over there. Fully healed her as well. That's because of the med kit, I think. Uh, 
she dropped off? I don't know where she went. Okay. Oh, I see scratch marks over there. So something to fend the hook. I think she's coming around this side of the truck, so I'm rounding through. Scratch marks end here. There. Sneakily hiding behind the rock. Oh, she's running away from my three gems. I don't really know chases. I have teeth two or three. I can get a quick down, which I do. I can now carry her out of this zone here that I don't want her in and towards where these four generators are. And I'm all in one area. The reason being, if they come away from these, these three or four generators, they can all heal up and I've lost all my pressure and then I have three healthy survivors to deal with. Whereas if they're all in this area, I can watch the hooks, I can watch the gems, and you're constantly injuring people. She was so good she made me hesitate there. I, I could have got that mind game but I didn't trust myself, I didn't trust she'd go for it. about to start a 360 but didn't quite pull it off. We should wait by this power. We know there's another survivor over here somewhere so I don't trust picking her up. I'll bait her to see if the other one will come out. Try and power it stun me. And again no one? Okay. Take the risk. She's away healing someone else I think. Unless they've healed themselves with the med kit. I think it's the Meg, I think the Meg was the mad kit. So now uh, I've got this area locked down, I don't need to go anywhere. So let's simply check these generators. You can check the hook. And it's all within 8 or 10 seconds walking distance. So check this gen at the back, no one's touched that. She's sneaking in for the unhook. Now she's running away to a place where I'm, I'm not chasing her down there. Because there are still two survivors at full health. So that could be a distraction for the other survivor to come in. <coughs> um, yeah, I've been guilty of falling for that before. Let someone distract me, chase them, and the other person gets unhooked behind me. And she's so close to death, there's no reason not to secure the kill her. Especially since they only have to do two out of these four gems. She's not in the hiding spot she was before. Gems totally regressed. See a crow despawning over there. I mean, it's 15 seconds ago someone was in this area. Oh, good luck. I know I've come away from my um, generators a little bit there. Reason being is I'm starting to think now that both, if they're solo players, they're going to be looking for Hatch. A lot, of, a lot of players at this point in the game will just like give up on rescuing their other teammate or working together and think. Right, I'll wait for them to die and then I'll find Hatch. Just stand on it as soon as they die, jump in. Or just hide at the, at the end of the map. Hopefully, the other teammate gets killed and the killer finds the hatch and then you're near the door so you can open the door. I think the door takes about 15 seconds. But if you're nearby and the killer's closed the hatch, the hatch usually spawns in the middle of the map roughly. Sometimes by the shack, which is why I'm checking the shack. But it's um, not going to be that close to the door. Anyway, we keep looking and we find one edge walking around the edge of the map. I don't know why she did that because, you know what I mean, the. Well, I do actually, yeah. She 
she's just walking around the edge of the map until she finds the gates. I know she's on the side plan. Didn't hear a vault. But I see the blood leading back to the window, so. And then didn't hear a vault again. Unless she slow vaulted those. If you vote, if you vault really. And vault really slowly, you don't make a sound. Yeah, I can hear it now. So if you hopped over and walked, you know, walked, kind of climbed slowly back. <coughs> kind of disappointed she's gone down there. I was hoping she'd run me into where the other survivor is. So I'll look around. I see Hatch is right there. So I'm thinking, is the other survivor nearby? Just waiting. I mean, there's not a lot of places to hide. It's quite an open spot. Also behind these rocks and trees, but don't see anyone. Okay, so I decide to go for it. Put on this hook here with right by the hatch. Go and stand right on top of the hatch. So as soon as it opens, I can close it. Just, if this gun's going to make a move for hatch, it'd be now. Looking, looking, looking. Close it straight away. So she's got to be on the door, and near the doors. As the icons fade, you see the doors are quite a long way away. All I can hope is She's running towards the door so I can cut her off. See no lights on that door so she's not on there. So she must be either at or running towards the other door. And I'm quite a long way away. I don't even if I see her now I don't think I'll make it in time. Yep, already open so she was on the door. Bye bye. Good game. A three K is still a win. And um could have ended up just a 2k if the bill hadn't given up, but yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, an assortment of ranks, but still good.